What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment here, back today with another episode of MLB The Show 16. This is my Chicago White Sox franchise, and today we're going to be finishing up the series against the Cleveland Indians. And unfortunately, in the game number two, we had a recording mistake, and when I checked it, man, it was a uh, I had ran out of space on the my laptop, so it kind of got messed up. Unfortunately, because it was like one of the best and worst games that I had. Offensively, it was great. We hit four home runs, and we also went into extra innings. And that's when, like, the recording scene had tapped out. I, I think it tapped out, like, in the ninth or tenth inning. I believe that's how far it got. And unfortunately, because it was such a great game, I was really disappointed when it did go out. But uh, you guys can see we wound up winning seven to six. We wound up getting a walk-off win. But we had four home runs. Jimmy Rollins hit one in the first inning. And then Jose Abreu got on. Ty Frazier knocked one out. A little later, Jose Abreu came up, and he hit one deep. And then quite a bit later, I believe, uh, I think maybe in like the fifth inning, Adam Eaton sent the home run out. So it was just a crazy game. We had four home runs from our top four guys batting, and it was just great. But unfortunately, man, it was Chris Sale on the mound, and he actually wound up giving three home runs himself. And it's Young Gomes. You can see he has two home runs. He had two home runs in that game. But it was a crazy one, though. And also, Milky Cabrera wound up robbing a home run. So that actually really did do a great job by saving us and helping us go to extra innings. But that's pretty much it. Sorry I didn't get that gameplay. I'll see you guys in this video. Afternoon baseball set to come your way on a fine afternoon on the south side of Chicago. Today, we wrap up the homestand with the third of three between the Cleveland Indians and the Chicago White Sox. Which of these two will prevail next on the show? Jose Quintana is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Southsiders. EK, what do you got? Well, guys, this will be his second start of the season. In his first start, he already got himself in the win column. He'll be looking to add to that here. All right, you saw that we're going to have Jose Quintana on the mound today. And he already has this first guy in an 0-1 count. And not the greatest start in the world is they're going to get a leadoff base runner to start off this game. And we're going to have to worry about him. Come on, Katana. We need to do better than this. Katana got the second batter in an 0-2 count right here. He gone! And we're going to get him struck out on that curveball. I believe that's Jason Kittness right there. Sit down, young man. The next batter's in a 1-0 count. And this is, I believe we got Saladino filling in for Todd Frazier today. But we're not going to be able to turn that double play. He almost got enough. And the Indians have a lot of speed. And we're going to get another strikeout on that curveball. Let's go. Jose Quintana, two strikeouts. Corey Kluber gets the starting assignment for the Tribe in this one. Eric, any thoughts? Yeah, guys. In his last start, he went into the seventh inning, but wasn't able to get a decision. I look to get a W here in this one. All right, we got Adam Eaton up to bat. He's already in a full count here in the top, in the bottom of the first inning. And Adam Eaton's ball is not going to get past Jason Kipnis as he does a spin throw to get him out of here. Uh, come on, Eaton. Got to get that in that hole over there. And here is just a quick look at the lineup, man. We got Jimmy Rollins batting in second. We moved, obviously, here Garcia to, to bat fourth with Frazier out. And Saladino and J.B. Shuck are in to fill in as well. And Jimmy Rollins is going to wind up grinding out here to Jason Kipnis. So two grind outs to Jason Kipnis. He's been busy this inning. Jose Abreu sends one to Jason Kipnis, but it's just over his glove. Jose Abreu is going to go for a double, and he's going to get in standing. Jose Abreu with a nice with a nice base hit. All right, we got some life here with two outs. And another ball was actually hit over there by Jason Kipnis. He's having to be busy here this inning. You can see just over his glove and a great job by Abreu. Obviously, Garcia in a 2-1 count. He's going to send it up the middle. And that's going to score Jose Abreu. And we're also going to move up obviously here Garcia because they make the mistake by throwing it home. And we're going to have another guy on second. And here comes our catching down there, Navarro. 
And right down the middle, and Navarro is going to send this one in the gap for an extra base hit. And we're going to score, obviously, here, Garcia. And we got a 2 nothing lead to start off this ball game. Quintana, you got a nice lead, man. I hope you keep it. We got Brett Laurie up to bat, two outs, one-two count, and he's going to grind out to Jason Kipnis. So Kipnis gets all the outs, pretty much. As he had three grand balls to him, and a ball smacked over his head. He was quite busy this inning. But a 2-0 lead, let's get it. Jose Quintana here in the top of the second inning. And it's going to be a ground ball back up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit for these guys. Come on, Katana. Can't be having base hits. That's going to lead the runs. Katana up again, and they're going to try to steal. They try doing a hit and run, and Navarro's going to get him. A great throw from Navarro. One bounce it over there to Lori. We're going to wind up getting him out of here. I don't even know why he stole, because he had like a 29 speed. And yep, you can just sit back down, John Gomes. One, two count here with one out. He gone! And we're going to get another guy striking out on the curveball as he takes the walk back of shame. And they got a man on first over here. And that's going to be a ground out right there for a, excuse me, not ground out, ground ball foul. So I believe this is, who is this, Mike Napoli? Yeah. And Napoli is going to send one into the gap. That is Juan Uribe who was rounding the bases. He's going to third. And we're going to get it to our cutoff, man. And Juan Uribe is going home. And oh, Uribe is just going to get in as we wind up dropping the ball at home. Not sure if we would have got him out anyway, but they cut this lead down to one. Tyler Saladino filling in for Todd Frazier. He drives one in that gap out there in left field. And that's going to be an extra base hit. Tyler Saladino, man, you've been playing some pretty good ball for us coming in off the bench. Let's go. We got Adam Eaton here up to bat. We got a man on third. And Eaton drives it over there to left field. And that's going to be a base hit. Eaton brings home the run. And it's a 3-1 game with two outs. We got Jimmy Rollins up to bat, 1-0. And Jimmy Rollins going to push that one into right field. All right, we got a man on first and second. And we got a great opportunity with Jose Abreu coming up to bat. Jose Abreu here. Oh, one one count. He's going to line out to Jason Kipnis. Oh, man. Kipnis with a great play. He said, hey, you're not getting a base hit on this one and scoring a run. Great job by Kipnis with the defensive play. We take a 3-1 lead to the third. Bottom of the third, Jose Quintana did his job. I ended up getting three outs. They went one, two, three. And obviously, yeah, Garcia is going to go down swinging. Down in Navarro here with one out after the strikeout. He sends one high and deep out there to right center field, and it is not going to carry anymore. Thought we had our first home run with Navarro. I'm trying to back out here on the mound here in the top of the fourth inning. It's an 0-1 count. It's going to be a ground out to Brett Laurie. It's going to be an easy ground. Quintana looking good. 0-2 count with two outs. He gone! And Napoli well late on that fastball. Great job, Quintana. Getting out of this inning. I believe that's like the fifth or sixth time Napoli has struck out. Yeah, because he struck out four times last time in the game that you guys didn't get. Tyler Saladino is back up to bat. He had a double last time. And he's going to put it in the exact same spot. And he's going to get him another extra base hit right here as it gets all the way to the wall. We're going to hold him over here a second. Let's go. Tyler Saladino, I see you, man. Wanted some extra PT. JB Shuck. We're going to drop a bunt over here to first baseman. And they're going to wind up eating it. And we're going to get a base hit right there. Let's go. Men on the corners. And here comes Austin Jackson. And he's going to push it over there to right field. That's going to score a run. And we're going to hold up at first and second here. As Austin Jackson extends our lead 4-1. to one. 
at a meeting here in the bottom of the floor. We're still nobody out. We're going to drop another bunt just to move these guys over to avoid the double play. And a bad play right there from the Indians. They're going to wind up pulling their pitcher. They should have went the first instead of trying to get our guy out of second. Austin Jackson was too fast for that anyway. Jimmy Rollins up the bat with bases loaded. We wish this was Jose Abreu up the bat. Jose Abreu, he's got a little more power. But oh well, hey, we'll take it. Hopefully Jimmy Rollins can just get him a solid base hit. Because we got a 1-0 count right here. See what Jimmy can do. That ball hit high and deep. Stretch. Stretch. Get on back there. They look up. Looks up. You can put it on the board. And Jimmy Rollins, a grand slam, number two on the year. Let's go. Jimmy Rollins sends one deep, sent one deep last game, and this time he gets it to go for a grand slam. He punches it out there to the right field. Let's go. An 8-1 lead. We're looking good in this one. Quintana back on the mound. He has a 2-2 count right here. And how about another strikeout for Jose Quintana? He's looking good out here, everybody. And just look at Quintana just out here balling. And he's right over that one. It's a 1-0 count here. Two outs. And that ball's going to be smacked right to Adam Eaton. And we're there. Hanging on to this nice 8-1 lead. And the mascot out here showing off some dance moves. All right. <laughs> Heading to the bottom of the fifth. Gotta leave alone and make him bring something down. JB Shuck is up the bat. He's going to smack that one back up the middle for a nice single. Let's go. We're looking good, y'all. Let's keep it going. Let's, let's keep pouring it on. Adam Eaton up the bat with two outs. 1-0 count. And Eaton's going to drill this one in the right field, and that ball drops. Man on first and second. Great job of that right fielder getting there in time. That would have been extra bases. Jimmy Rollins up the back. Can he get an encore, folks? That ball hit high and deep. Stretch. Stretch. Get on back there. They look up. You can put it on the board. Yes. Yes. How about Jimmy Rollins, his second home run of the game? And he has seven RBIs. Let's go. Hits a grand slam and then a three-run home run. <laughs> back to back back. Let's go. This one goes 386 feet as it drives over there into that bullpen out there. Jimmy Rollins, who knew you had who knew you still have power in that bat, man? Let's get it. Looking like your old MVP for him. Let's go, Jimmy Rollins right now. <laughs> you just being clutch. Top of the six. Jose Quintana is back out here. 0 2 count, one out. And how about another strikeout for Jose Quintana? Go back to that bench, man. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Take your butt back to that dugout. Another 0 2 count, two outs. 11 1 game. Quintana just looks great. He gone! And how about Mike Napoli striking out? Oh, excuse me. That's gone Gomes. How about another strikeout for these guys? And here goes the mascot once again. <laughs> Tick Quintana out as he got a little trouble here in the top of the seventh inning. Gone! And a strikeout for Mike Napoli. There he goes. And we got Nate Jones in the game filling in for him. Nate Jones, a very reliable uh, setup guy right now. As he's coming in, filling in for relief. Napoli. <laughs> we just got your number today, man. Gone! And another strikeout right here as Almonte gets sit down looking. Nate Jones looks good coming out of the bullpen. 0-1 count, two outs. And it's going to be a pop-up, and looks like we're going to wind up getting out of here with no runs go coming in. Great job by Nate Jones coming out of the bullpen. Nate Jones in his for a second inning of work. 1-2 count, in the eighth. He gone! And blows it by him with a 97-mile-per-hour two-seam fastball. Let's go. Nick Jones, 2-2 two -two count, two outs. He gone! And a 98-mile-per-hour fastball. 
Sits down another guy. Nate Jones, I see you, dog. Was that four strikeout? Four or five coming in? Let's go. Jose Abreu up here, bottom of the eighth, in a nice 2 0 count. Very favorable for him. That ball hit hard. Get over his head. Way back. He looks up. You can put it on the board. Yes. 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 Jose Abreu. My dog sending a home run deep to left field, a no doubter, and look at that 450 feet. I see you, dog. It's second, excuse me, not second. It's third home run of the year. And yep, they got away with a bad pitch location. You can't hang a ball for Jose Abreu. He's going to send you deep every time with that. You see that no doubter home run? He has a lot of strength. Can't do that, man. Dan Jennings has filled in for Nate Jones right now. He gone! And Dan Jennings leaving off for uh, Nate Jones left off. Another strikeout on Juan Uribe. Mike Napoli up to bat. 0-2 count with two outs. He gone! And looks like this ball game is over. Jose Quintana gets the victory. We can really thank Jose Quintana and Jimmy Rollins for shutting these guys down. Jimmy Rollins just seven RBIs. Just went crazy on these guys. I really wish we would have had Todd Frazier playing. He probably would have hit a home run too, the way we were swinging the bat. But anyway, man, it was a great win for us. A 12-1 victory. We're not going to get victories like this all the time. I won't mind many more of them, though. Shit, I'll take it. But it's just a great win as we're going to move to 5-1 on the year. You can see the final line score, 12-1. Jimmy Rollins, the key at bat in this game. Man, two home runs, seven RBIs, and Quintana, great job too, man. Seven strikeouts. And no surprise right here. Player of the game going to Jimmy Rollins. Very well deserved. But hey, I do want to say thank you all very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with this Chicago White Sox franchise and more. Also, check out my Road to the Show series. The link will be in the description. And I'm out to next time, everybody. Once again, thank you, and peace.